Hello, y'all. Welcome back to the Real Women of Philadelphia. It's me again, Claudia Signaleone, still in Atlanta, still waiting for an oh-so-important invite to go to Savannah. So, while I was waiting, I decided to make another entree. This time, I'm making apple mushroom pork fillets using chive and onion Philadelphia cream cheese. Now, in this fanfare to pork, tender fillets of pork are paired with tart Granny Smith apples and woodsy portobello mushrooms. How's that for a combination? And let's not forget the rosemary, y'all. We'll be adding it as well um, with garlic and chives. Sound appealing? Now, it's quick and easy, and I think I just have enough time to get it in, so... Let's go. Okay, y'all, here's our tray of basic ingredients that we're going to use to make our apple mushroom pork fillets. Of course, we have our beautiful pork, and it's just a nice fillet of pork that we're going to pound out, and we're going to prepare with some of our wonderful Philadelphia cream cheese. And this time, I'm using the chive and onion flavor. That's going to impart some great flavor to that pork right away as soon as we put it on. So we're already off to a head start with some great flavors for our pork. We then have some portobello mushrooms that we're going to dice, and we have some nice garlic, and we have some fresh rosemary, and to, to just to boost the flavor of these wonderful green apples. Now, these are Granny Smith apples, but you can use whatever kind of apple. Now, here we have some of the other ingredients that we're going to be using in this dish as well, and I just wanted to run you through them. We have, of course, here our portobello mushrooms, which I've diced. Uh, we have about um, a half a cup of those. We have a half a, cu half a cup of our Granny Smith apples that we've also diced. Here we have one 10-ounce can of cream of mushroom and roasted garlic soup that we're going to stir in. We have over here um, some herbal stuffing mix and our nice diced garlic. And here we have um, about six tablespoons of butter. And we have about, um, we're going to use one eight ounce package of our Philadelphia cream cheese, the chive and onion flavored. And then we have our pork, which we talked about before. But here I've gone ahead and I've pounded out uh, one of them to see, to show you um, just sure how we're going to utilize it. You can them. roll it. You want to be able to roll it uh, after, we're, after it's filled with that wonderful, those apples and those mushrooms after we cook them down. And uh, then over here, um, we have our dry ingredients. Of course, you can see we have our fresh rosemary that we see all around the tray. In the center, that's some nice paprika that we're going to use to just give it some color after uh, they're grilled. We have some ground... Um, some ground thyme, we have some ground um, rosemary, this is the ground version of the rosemary over here, so this turns into this after it's ground. We have our garlic, granulated garlic, our granulated onion, uh, we have some celery salt, and we have some black pepper. So all of these are going to come together very nicely to infuse some great flavoring, some savory flavorings that are going to mix with the sweetness of those apples when we do our pork chops. Now, I'm, I'm going to use probably about two of these. Now, we're going to begin this recipe by cooking our apples and our mushrooms, combining them with our rosemary so that we can put them, we're going to roll them into our pounded down pork fillets. So, in the pan already, I have about three tablespoons of butter that I have already going. And to that, we're going to add our apples first. Apples and butter first. So, our apples go in going to add our rosemary right away. Now we have a few sprigs. You don't need a whole lot of rosemary, but you put that right in. Yes, apples right on top of rosemary. Some of our garlic. Stir that in. Can you imagine these aromas? The sweetness of those tart apples, the woodsiness of the mushrooms, then the rosemary. Then we're going to go in with our cream of mushroom and roasted garlic soup. Put that in. And then we're going to come in with our Philadelphia cream cheese. Now this is really starting to pop. Look at that. Go ahead and add our stuffing mix herbal stuffing mix. 
Rosemary. You know, Rosemary used to be included in bridal wreaths. Um, and it's good for your memory. It's supposed to be very, very good for enhancing the memory. So I guess I should be eating a whole bunch of rosemary these Wonderful. days. Ground rosemary. Our onion powder. Our thyme, celery salt. Oh, and now the thyme has just paired with the rosemary. So it's really screaming here. You guys should just smell it. Some really some garlic powder and a pinch of thick wow. paste that we're going to spread on our pork chops that we've pounded out. We're going to roll them and grill them. And then make a wonderful sauce. It's going to be great. Now, y'all, we've sauteed down our apples and our mushrooms into that wonderful apple mushroom paste that we're going to use to put on top of these pork chops before we grill them to make our um, to finish our apple mushroom pork fillets. And this is what it looks like after it's cooked down. You can see the rosemary. We've got our apples and our mushrooms cooked down. But there's one more step that we need to do. We need to prepare the actual the pork chop. Actually, looked when I bought it, and uh, it's about maybe an eighth of an inch thick or about the, the top of your finger thick. And so I just have it here in a Ziploc bag and I have a mallet. And basically what I'm gonna do is, pardon the noise, but just get this out. Just gonna set that aside. Now over here we have, I have in this ramekin some more of our Philadelphia cream cheese and I have some of our dry ingredients, some of our rosemary and our great thyme and our garlic and our onion, and we're just gonna blend that together because we're gonna use this now. We're gonna just slather that on our pork chops. And what this does is, is it locks in the juices of the meat and it also immediately infuses some of those flavors that we have that are prevalent throughout the dish, but it immediately goes on the top of the pork chop. Brown rosemary, just sprinkle a little bit on that. And some of our garlic. And our celery oh, salt. I'm going to take some of our mixture here. And then we're just going to roll it. And you can put as much or as little. And here you have it. Now, you think you will be finished with that. But we're not. We're going to go back now and take the remaining paste. And we're going to kind of just put that, paint the outsides of our pork chops as well. So we, our pork chops are now ready to be placed on our... Oh, hear that sizzle? That's my griddle. I preheated it, turned it on, and preheated it up to about 375 degrees because we're getting ready to grill our fabulous Now our griddle is hot, and we're just going to go ahead and place these on the griddle. Woo! On the bias. Basically, y'all, we've gone ahead and we've um, grilled off our, uh, our pork fillets. You can see the nice grill marks that we have here. And this was the second batch that I did. Came out nice and grilled. You can see the meat is nice and tender. It's not dried out at all. So now all that's left to do is to make that wonderful, wonderful sauce that I told you about. So in this little saucepan, I am whisking together uh, the remainder of our, our soup, our cream of mushroom and roasted garlic soup, some more of our Philadelphia cream cheese, the chive and onion flavor, some of our fresh uh, rosemary, some of our powdered ingredients that we had, the same powdered ingredients, and some heavy cream. That is so wonderful and so delectable. You should smell this. This is a fabulous dish. Doesn't take all that long time. I have one already that I put together that I plated. You see the nice grill marks and I've garnished it with some mushrooms and some of our, some of our green apples. And I'm just gonna cover it with some more of that fabulous sauce. And there you have it. Apple mushroom pork fillets with rosemary, Granny Smith apples. Mmm. Fantastic. Now this is a pick that's sure to please all of your friends and family to the core. I'm Claudia Signaleon, and again, thanks for being with me in my kitchen in Atlanta. Until next time, bye-bye.